Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to get started with Django on Windows. So before you can follow this video, you need to have Python installed and you have to have some kind of text editor installed. So I'm using VS Code and I have Python 3.8 installed on my computer. So if you have those two things, then you can follow along with this tutorial. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a directory for our project. So I'm going to go over to Documents and I'll create a directory called, let's call this my Django app, just like that. So that's where our project will live. And then we need to open up the command prompt. So you can go over to the search bar and type CMD. And that will just bring up the command prompt for you, this black window. And in it, I'll just make it a little smaller. You can navigate to the directory that you just created. So here I'm in the directory for my user. And if I just change to documents, because that's where I uh, put the my first or my Django app directory and then I change directory into that again. So my Django app, hit enter. Then we'll see the path here and we know we can start uh, working on the project. So the first thing I wanna do is I want to create a virtual environment. So the virtual environment allows us to install different packages for our project that will be isolated from every other project on my computer because sometimes different projects have different versions of the same package. And if you have one global package installed for all your projects, things can go wrong in your individual projects. So it's better to isolate them. So to do that, you have to type Python dash M and this will allow you to run some command. And the command we want is V E N V. And this will allow you to create a virtual environment. And then you just give it a name. So I'm going to call mine uh, E N V and then I'll hit enter and I'll just wait for it to create. And then when it's done, we shouldn't see anything other than our path again with the flashing cursor. I can clear this out by typing CLS so we can start fresh again. And then what I need to do is I need to start that virtual environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the name of the virtual environment. So env backslash scripts backslash activate. And when you run that, you should see the name of the environment on the left-hand side, so env here. And if we look in our directory again, we see we have a directory called env, and then looking in there, we have scripts and then activate. So that's all we did. We're just running it from the command line. So now that we have this, we need to install Django. So pip install Django is how we do that. So pip allows us to install packages for Python, and Django is the package that we want. So I'll go ahead and install this and it should just take a moment. And then once it's installed, we should have the name of the directory again. We have this warning message is telling us that we need to upgrade pip, but we don't need to do that for this particular video. So we're gonna skip that. We'll type CLS. And then next thing is we need to start the actual Django project. So to do this, you type Django-admin start project, and then we give it a name. So I'll call this my Django app, just like the name of the directory. And then what I can do is I can CD into another directory called my Django app. So if we look here, we see my Django app is here. So now that we've made it this far, what I wanna do is I wanna bring this entire directory into my text editor so I can just drag it over and we'll see all the files. So we see this manage.py, and then we see my Django app, and then we see some files in here. Next, we want to start an app for this project. So I'm gonna type Python manage.py. So this is where I can run commands for Django, and I want to start an app, and I need to give it a name. So I'll just call this hello. And we see it creates another directory called hello. So now I need to go into my settings and add that new app to my installed apps. So go to settings, should be around line 33. And you're just gonna add to the list, hello. So that's the name of the app that I just created. And to see Django working, we can try going to the admin login screen. So I can do python uh, manage.py and then run server. So this will actually start the app that we have and then it will tell me where it is. So it's on 127.0.0.1 port 8000. So I'll just copy this. I'll open up a browser and I'll paste this in. And we see this page. So 
you should see that in SOLIDWORKS successfully. Congratulations. And then if you go to like slash admin, you should see this login screen. And if you want to use this, all you have to do is stop the server. So control C. And then you want to do Python manage.py and then create super user. And before I can do this, I just remember I need to migrate first. So this just means create the database. So I can't create a user because the user needs to be saved to the database. So I need to create the database first. So to do that, you do Python uh, manage.py and then migrate. So this will create the database for you. And then you can run that create super user again. And then you can type in a username. I'll type Anthony, email address, and then a password. So mine will be password one. If I typed it correctly, I didn't. So let me try that again. Okay, so it tells me that the password is too common, but I'm gonna bypass that and create it anyway. And then I can start up my server again. So Python manage.py and then run server. And then if I refresh the page and type in those credentials that I just created, should be able to log into the admin dashboard. And if you go to users, you should see the user that you created. So I created Anthony. So that's the one user that I have in the database. So let's go back to the code and let's get a simple hello example working. So I'll go to the hello directory and I'll go to views. And here over this comment, I'll create a function called index and it's going to take in a parameter called request. And basically what I want to do is I want to return something. I'm going to return that render and I need to pass in a template file. So in this case, my template will be uh, index.html and I'll actually put it in a directory called hello. And I need to create this in a moment. And the first argument for this needs to be requests. And now let me create a directory here. So we're going to call this templates. We need to put our HTML files here. So templates. And then we need to create another one called hello. And then inside of hello, I want to create a file called index.html. And then in it, I'll just create a header tag and I'll say hello world, just like that. And the last thing I need to do is I need to set the URL for this. So I'll go to my URLs in my Django app and then I'll import that hello dot index. So from uh, hello dot views, I want to import index. And here I need to specify the path. So if I just leave it as empty, uh, it's going to be, you know, this. But if I set a path after it, like hello, it's going to be slash hello. And I'll demonstrate both in just a moment. So I need to bring in index here. And now the server will restart automatically every time I make a change. Let's try going to slash hello. And we see hello world. And if I take away that hello and just leave nothing, then it's going to overwrite what I had before. So we no longer see that congratulations page. We just see hello world. If I go to hello, it doesn't work anymore because I took it away. And if I change something in the index.html and I run it again, we see the change. So this is a very, very simple introduction to Django. If you want to learn more about Django, you should check out my intro to Django course that I have. It's a free course. Um, it looks to be about 30 minutes or so, and I'll take you through building a diary app that I have here. So if you want to learn how to build this app, uh, just go to prettyprinted.com slash Django intro. I'll leave a link in the description below and as a comment, so you can just click on it if you want to. As for this particular tutorial, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.